how we doing? Hi, all right. We are uh, heavily integrated in this mug tonight. <laughs> Looks like some of Dr. Cream dream up in here. This is cool. I like integration. It's cool. It's just it's overrated a little bit. It's a little overrated for this reason, because we come together. All we do is start counting our kind, especially black people. We, we know it's 15 of us in here. We already know. We, we started counting at the door. We was like giving each other signals. Like it's 15 of us playing. So you know, if you can't 15, something break out. We could fight for a little while, but somebody gonna have to tweet about this night. We can't just swing all night. <laughs> I like uh, I like being from the south. Being from the south is the best because we know how to hustle. We know how to hustle uh, through most weather conditions. You know what I mean? The South, we got 11 months of summer, two weeks of spring, <laughs> and a couple days of the toughest winter ever. Like, you be like, where did this ice come from, fam? But we know how to hustle, bro, but the hustle can get real immediately. I know the hustle can get real. It can get real, bro, because my grandma got an OnlyFans page. That's how you know the hustle is real. She just on there butt naked reading Bible scriptures with, with Al Green in the background. I'm like, Grandma, what are you doing? She like, Grandpa dead and rent is due. I'm not finna starve because Y'all got integrity, hell. Just hold a camera like I said. Ain't nobody asked you to ask me all these questions. Bro, it's hard to be a director when you got a tear in your eye, fam. It's hard. You're like, whoa, this is a saggy sight, grandma. Ha, ha, both your feet on your navel right now. This is insane. Only fans, boy. Only fans change the game. Only fans change the game, bro. You know what I think the saddest existence is? Is a low subscribe OnlyFans page. Woo! That's some sad business right there, because you done just exposed yourself to 12 people. That's sad. Like, dang, you could have went door to door with these videos right here, baby. You didn't you waited on a verification code for a disciples worth of people? That's 12 people. That's everybody you work with that didn't believe in you. <laughs> That's why I try to figure out things that fascinate me with my life. You know what I mean? I'm fascinated with certain parts of my life. I love it so much. Like I become extremely fascinated with being a fool. That's my favorite thing. Yes, I love being a fool, bro, because it's the best. Because a fool, don't, don't get it twisted. A fool is just somebody that knows better and chooses to do the opposite. That's, that's me, bro. I thrive in that. I'm good at that. You know that phrase where they say ignorance is bliss? I subscribe to that completely. I love being stupid. There's so much joy in not knowing. You know why? Because I have yet to meet a happy woke person. I have not met a broke person that is just full of joy. Every one person I know is just angry and exhausted from ruining holidays. That's all they do. They can't wait, bro. They like, can't wait. Anything you say, they gotta, they gotta rebuttal for it. You can't enjoy anything anymore. Happy Thanksgiving, they like genocide. You're like, come on, fam. <laughs> Merry Christmas, white Jesus. You're like, God. You know their favorite one to ruin? They bet their favorite one to ruin is Independence Day. Boy, they can't wait to ruin Independence Day. They can't wait, boy. July 3rd, they just be up typing that post, putting it in the drafts, boy. They can't wait. I'm gonna hit them so hard at 12.01. They can't wait. They cannot wait to catch it. And this is what bothers me. They come on there, bro, and they just be like, black people, just so y'all know, we wasn't free during this time. Okay, that's true, that's fair. But I gotta say, as Americans, as a whole, we have never celebrated Independence Day, never. We have all collectively celebrated the 4th of July. We have all celebrated that, which is just a day off, fam. That's all it is. The post office is closed, fire up the grill. Care who was free or who wasn't, fam? Can I enjoy my ribs? Why? Why I gotta throw my plate away because of your post? <laughs> I'm 
waited all day on these ribs. I gotta throw my brisket away because they don't taste like freedom. <laughs> don't like it, bro. And I like, I like being American. Being American is dope. It's fly. I love it. It's really awesome. Just go to these other ticky tack countries. You be like, I want to go home. <laughs> it's stank out here. I like being an American, bro. I love it. And I am American. I am American. Despite these thick Nigerian features, I am American. I know I look like I got three women held hostage in a key of soul right now. Just, just like, hold on, ladies, work on that scam. I'm a, I gotta tell these jokes first. We gonna let them know that I'm an African prince and I need $4,800. I'm American, bro. I love being American. I love it. And I love it because it's stuff we get to get away with. It's stuff that we get to just thrive on and enjoy. We get to just be all in that. Like, as an American, we all got the right to be greedy. We can be as greedy as we want to be because it's in our core. It's in our foundation. You know what I mean? You know how you know we greedy for sure. We got 50 states and we don't even need all of them. We don't. <laughs> we don't even know what all 50 other states do. Like... What do the Dakotas do besides, besides piss off Canada? That's all really the Dakotas do. We don't need all 50 other states. Both of the Carolinas, we don't need both of them, bro. They've had the same beliefs since slavery, you know what I mean? Which had to throw you off as a runaway slave from South Carolina to North Carolina. You just like, am I free? They like, not quite, fam, you're not quite free. You should have kept running, bro. This the North, right? Uh, more like Upper South is what this is, fam. <laughs> we don't need all of the states. Some of the states missed their mark on being a good state. They was almost a good state. They was almost there. It was right there. Like Oklahoma. <laughs> Oklahoma was almost a good state because they got some dope stuff in Oklahoma. They do. They got the last 17, 18 Native Americans there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Weed is legal there, gambling is legal there, but abortion is not. They was right there. They was almost a good state. They was a fetus halfway from being a good state. How do you even justify that as a state? Weed is legal, but abortion is not. Hey, we wanted to give you something to smoke about, I guess. I don't know. As a guy, I have no stance on abortion. I don't know how any guy could have any stance on abortion at all. That's completely up to a lady for sure. I got no opinions on that. I don't even know what I am until I'm in the situation. Like, I ain't know I was pro-choice until I was asked to pay for an abortion. That's what I found out. Which is most people's situation, bro. Most people are pro-life because they can't afford to be pro-choice. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, when does life begin? And insufficient funds. That's when it begins. When... You got $13 in your account. You're like, baby shower. And when you broke, you can't have nothing like a gender reveal. You got to just put that in a group text. You're just like, we having a girl for now. So I just try to do, man, whatever I'm good at. Because in America, you got that freedom. You can be whatever you want to be. You can do whatever you're good at. And I'm at a point in my life where I only do what I'm good at. And I only like what I'm good at. So that way, whatever I'm doing, I'm good at it, and I also like it. That's why I'm very, very fond of poverty, bro. I <laughs> love poverty. It's the sweetest thing in the world. I love poverty. You know why? Because it's easy to do. It's so easy to do. All you got to do to thrive in poverty is not have. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Love it, bro, and I'm broke and I'm introverted, so it works out perfectly for me. Because when you're broke and introverted, don't nobody ask you for nothing. They just assume you don't have. I got proud poverty moments, bro. One of my favorite poverty moments was at a CVS. It's one of my favorite moments, bro. I walked in to get my medicine. The lady saw me and just assumed I didn't have nothing and just started hitting no on all the donation questions without asking me nothing. She walked in, she was like, no, you don't want to do none of this. I can tell. Don't. No, don't worry. This is going to be a short receipt. Don't worry about nothing. I got no, never mind by a homeless dude. That was one of my proudest moments, bro. He saw me. He was like, excuse me, brother. Can't... No, never mind. You ain't got to play. I can tell. 
Oh, no, this is short in action. Don't even worry about it. I like being from Houston, too. Houston's dope. Our homeless situation is the best. Don't let nobody fool you. We have the best homeless situation because our homeless people will inspire you. They will, yeah. They inspired me to start dressing better. They did. I was walking downtown, minding my business. All of a sudden, this homeless dude started trying to recruit me. He did. Walking, minding my business. All of a sudden, I just hear somebody in the distance go, Hey, man, I have a tent. I was like, hey, man, I have a home. Like, what are we doing right now? Like, he was like, come on, brother, don't be like that. Come check out my tent. I said, all right, I'm intrigued, so. I go over, man, go check out his tent. Bro, he had more stuff in this tent than I had in my apartment. He did. He had a lamp, an extra charger, a faithful woman. I'm like, he crushing it in this tent right now. I walked away like, I gotta be more like Boom Boom, bro. Like, how you get her to listen in the tent? I tried, man. I tried to do everything. Tried to be a good person, you know what I mean? Tried to do. My parents, they did the best they could with me. They tried, you know what I mean? They failed a lot. <laughs> but they tried. I give them credit for trying. Especially my dad. My dad tried the absolute most. He tried the most, you know what I mean? He's a pastor, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's his life. Don't judge him, okay? He's a pastor. But he did it wrong. He did it wrong. He did. He did it wrong. My dad became a pastor to save souls instead of embezzle. That was stupid. That was dumb. How you mess up that perfectly good business model, you know what I mean? He praying for them. I'm like, yo, we supposed to be robbing them right now, fam. Like, to hell with the Johnson family. Our stomach is growling right now. He tried, man. I go to church with him sometimes. I like going to church with him. I go to church with him sometimes. But I can only go to church with him high. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the only way I could believe the stories. You know what I mean? When I'm sober, I'm like, I don't believe none of this. But when I'm high, I'm like, yeah, somebody probably walked on water. I could believe that that went down. Yeah. I could believe that a Jew built a boat with no Mexican help. I could believe that that took place. Bro, I love Jesus, bro. I super love Jesus. I just don't think he was a miracle working virgin. You know what I mean? How you walk on water and don't smash nobody that night? That's insane, bro. If you walk across the freeway, you're like, yo, somebody blowing me this evening, fam. I don't know who, but this is impressive. I'm not even running. Get your jaws ready. I'm the Lord and Savior. Still doing it. <laughs> my parents be grilling me, man. They be on my case. My mom, for the most part, my mom be in me, bro. She be, we argue back and forth about religion constantly. You know what I mean? I ain't got nothing against anybody religion. Nobody religion, bro. That, that's a part of protecting your joy, protecting your peace. You know what I'm saying? You need that. So whatever it is that gets you through the night, I say believe in that thoroughly. Only thing I say is, is don't let your religion take over your common sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it did my cousin, right? <laughs> when my cousin got in some trouble, I said, hey, cuz, take this card. Call that lawyer, he gonna get you out of that trouble you in. He said, oh, cuz, I already got a lawyer. I said, what's his name? Jesus. I said, fam, you going to jail. You going to jail. I'm not saying Jesus can't do it, but you going to jail, fam. Jesus had a trial, he took himself. It didn't go that well, fam. It, it led to a crucifixion. What should I do, bro? You need to take Jesus plus one on this one. Me and my mom be arguing, boy. We be arguing hard. She be in my girl, she be on me. She be like, son, you an atheist? You don't believe? You out here not believing? I'm like, yeah, I believe. I gotta blame this on somebody. You know what I mean? Like, she was like, well, what are you, how do you believe? What do you believe in? I was like, mom, I just believe in all the gods. That's what I do. Like, yeah, I believe in all the gods. She said, if you believe in all the gods, then how do you pray? I was like, Mom, my prayer is like a business letter. To whom it may concern, fam. Like, this too messed up to be picky. This a potluck. Bring everything. I need everybody. <laughs> oh, man. I love my parents, man. They good people. They mess me up, though. They mess me up big time. I remember talking to my dad. It got real sentimental. We was talking. Talking about some stuff. He don't support me in comedy at all. Like, at all. Not at all. Like, the way I know he has all these passive aggressive nicknames for me when I'm walking through the house. Like, like I come walking in, he be like, yeah, there go Mr. Jokes walking all through this mug. <laughs> Cat.
Captain Giggles has just arrived. Mr. Hee Haw himself in my garage. And that was cool, bro. That was fine, but it started pissing me off, so I had to come up with nicknames for him. So when he came walk through the house, I was like, yeah, there go Mr. Back Child Support walking through this mug. <laughs> Mr. Unpaid Light Bill. As I say this to you in the dark. <laughs> he didn't like that. He got mad. Don't talk to me like that in this house. I said, hey, man, I'm over here. You talking to the lamp right now. You are giving the lamp the business. You ever had your daddy cuss you out holding a candle? Boy, you better respect. <laughs> I blew that mess out. Like... Better get the lights on, you want some respect. You can't curse me out smelling like cucumber melon in here. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm Trey Tuzzy. You guys are fun, man. Thank you very much.